Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the final room of the Edgewood Mansion Escape Rooms levels. And this one is the Underground Lab. And I know from experience, these final ones tend to be a little bit longer than the other ones. So um, yeah, really excited to jump in. But without further ado, let's get cracking. Alrighty then. We've got some animal prints. So the pig went out the window by the looks of it. We've got a life capsule. So we need five locks by the looks of it. We've got some eyes. So I'm guessing that is some sort of combination. Maybe from the pattern. Maybe we're going to find out a bit more about that. We've got some plants here, which I guess is going to unlock something. Okay, that's a zebra. One, two, three. Maybe, like, it's the number of animal prints there are for these, possibly. So the elephant. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. What else we got here? Got a deer. One, two, three, four. Four for the deer. And then for the lion, one, two, three, four, five, five. No. Okay. Well, it was it was worth a shot, I guess. All right. It's got different uh, species there. I wonder if I need to put the. Do I need to put the zebra in here as well? Oh, the zebra's got some markings on it. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it's got six and seven, that's 13, so. Oh, hold on. Two, three, four. Alright, so it's only the... Looks like it's only the zebra that has the markings on them. I'll take that, Mr. Lion. Thank you very much. Check the deer, just to be sure. Bit of a note there. Okay, so how would I work this out? Now looking at like these prints here. Okay, so looking at these prints here, it might indicate that the animal is stood in this direction. Therefore it'd be there would be its front legs, and these would be its back legs for Okay, so let's have another look. At our zebra here. So one would be four, two would be four. These are both four. And then three, one, and three. No, oh, okay. Well, we'll, uh, we'll keep trying. Guess we've got to look at the patterns of the butterflies maybe here as well. Hmm. This is so I hope I have more luck than the last time these poor men... Strange dream last night from the depths of the forest, the narrow eyes, colour of gold, were watching my every move. Okay. So let's um, bring this down a minute. Let's look here. So this one was watching every move. Let's turn them all off. Okay, right, that one. Dial in the middle. 
azure. Isn't that like a... What sort of color is that? I want to say it was a blue. Is it green? And fallen leaves with an endless hole of nothingness in the middle. Can I? I can. Okay, okay. I can make them. Come by. I'm sort of jumping around a minute, and I kind of apologise for that. Let's read the whole thing. So, strangest dream last night. From the depths of the forest, the narrow, narrow eye colour of gold. This one. I arrived at the azure sea with a round island in the middle. Well, let's see one of these two, right? I'm gonna go green. Here my dream, still hearing haunting me. Question if I should go alone to the island, just can't explain, but I'm starting to question my trust. Dream returned. I saw good men fighting whilst other all watching whispering. I couldn't risk that mission that felt like through behind. It's just stunning. It's surrounded by fallen leaves with an endless hole of nothingness in the middle. So what's surrounded by leaves? I wonder if, like... Huh. Okay, so I was right. I think I was right about the uh, the colour. The azure is the, um, it's like the blue. Must be. Must be. All right, so that's key number two. So that's the second puzzle done at least. What have we got next? Green. I guess we got to obviously. I say I guess we've got to obviously. That doesn't make sense, does it? I'm guessing we've got to put these at like the right spots. So how do we? How do we know, or how do we work that out? I wonder. We've also got this species thing here, which uh, we need to finish. This is the zebra thing. Ah, okay, this is a zebra combination. Okay, so 4413. 4413. Four, Check our zebra. Or a five. Five, four, five, four, one, three. Let's try five. I can't count. There we go. Okay, we have the final species thing. We have a mouse. That's not what I was expecting to see. That's pi and... I said it's like summary. I, I can't remember what the mathematical equation for that is, so uh, please do let me know. It starts like this. The first was the number of limbs. It was followed by the limbs touching the pi. The final number is... It starts like this. The first was the number of limbs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number of limbs touching... Touching the pi. Four, eight, four... Eight, four, three. I think that's what it is. Eight, four, three. Was it? Does the head count as a limb? Is it nine? Check that again. The first was the number of limbs. Westwards, that's... Or is Westwards only one? I suppose Westwards could only be one. No. Limbs touching the pie. Are, are any of the limbs touching the pie? It's a real question. 
Okay. We'll uh, we'll come back to the lockbox because I'm not sure on that at the moment. I have a feeling that we might need to do some planting. Alright, I guess that was just for the token. Okay, so uh, we've got this is what's going to tell us our order here of the species. It's a bird, snake, frog, fly, rose, surely. Hey, there's a second key. Oh, that one's pretty easy. Right. Two keys down, three to go. So I still think like this is to do with the number of hooves and things. One, two, three. So that's three. The elephant. Four, five, six. Elephant is six. Three, six. The deer. One. Sneaky. One, two, three, four. So the deer is just four. Oh, and I've just worked out the plant pot thing as well. We'll come back to that in a minute. So the deer is four. And the lion, one, two, three, four, five. It's five. Do I need to shut these to... Okay, anyway, let me... Um, so I've just noticed these plant pots here represent um, the lions. So we've got that one there and that one there. The these ones are going to there. Means this one goes to there, and that gives us another key. It's pretty straightforward. All right, two to go. Two, to go. looking around for these uh... so we know one of them is going to be in this lockbox so let's go back to this lockbox the first was the number of limbs four none of them are touching pie and there's only one pointing eastwards Oh, pie is the circle. Pie is the circle. Okay, so all of them are touching pie. So there's eight limbs. Eight limbs? Oh no, hold on, hold on. There's eight limbs. One, two, three, four, five, six of them are touching pie. And three of them are pointing westward okay so they are those do's count as pointing westward okay excellent four down and we've got one to go so now it's just the animal thing another sneaky one so what is it with these animals The only thing I'm thinking is... 
I wondered whether or not the um, the uh, deer and the zebra were the opposite way around. I don't think they are. Three, six, four, five. What am I missing with these? See, once we pick them up, we can't place them back again. Am I missing a book or something, maybe? Is there a book somewhere? Definitely three of those. One, two, three, four, five, six elephants. Distraction techniques, as always. Six elephants. Um, four deers. Six, there's more than five lions, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, maybe I just got that wrong before. But I'm not sure. Well, there we go. That is the underground lab. That's probably, like, the quickest finale I have done as well. And taken us about just over 15 minutes. So it was only just shy of the um the timer there but um yeah okay so all in all like this whole area there was just like two which were very didn't sit very well with me at all they were very kind of like how was you meant to work that out the um i, I think in particular the third one the third one was the one that got me because the the whole like assigning the toys to the right person wasn't something that i could understand given the information i felt like there should have been more information but i don't know the first one i think i was unlucky i think the book kind of glitched out of existence um somehow so yeah anyway um there we go that's the edgewood mansion series finished next up we'll be jumping into the mega corporation which i'm really excited about but thank you very much for watching guys hope you enjoyed and until next time i've been knocking you've been awesome take care stay safe happy gaming